here's the spot. It doesn't need much of an introduction when you're in uh, Kalgoorlie. The super pit. You're greeted by some old relics to start with at the, uh, the top of the hill. And then further down the way there is the, the lookout. We'll go and have a check that out. But uh, tremendous view at the top here. Not only of uh, Kalgoorlie in the background there, but the super pit itself. So we'll see if I can find a, a little spot here in between these relics and uh, show you what it looks like. That's what it looks like when you're walking up to the super pit. It's massive, so there's a lot of work going on on the right hand side. down there at the moment and then of course straight down the middle so when I used to work here um, over there on the on the left uh, there was an underground portal that would pop out and um, that, there used to be a hill there called Brown Hill so they were doing a lot of mining there at the Brown Hill the early section there and down where that slip is that goes down into uh, I think they called it uh, Golden Pike that was the main sort of uh, lot of gold that they chased, but now they're doing a lot more around the outside. And then as I say, further down over, well, the big hole that you can see down there, that was Morrison's down there. And, but yeah, so the Super Pit is one of Australia's largest open pit gold mines. And some of the facts that I've got there is that uh, you're talking about 3.5 kilometers long, uh, 1.6 kilometers wide, and uh, down there it's about 600 meters deep. Um, the little um, teepy looking things over there to the left of that, if you can pick it up, is the crusher where we used to work. And uh, we would take um, certain grades, um, marginal, high grade, low grade, and uh, sort of yeah, mix it up into the crusher. So here you go, this is, um, oh, what would it be, the, the southeast sort of corner of the, uh, the super pit. There's uh, three dumpies there waiting on the old shovel, the old PC8000 shovel and uh, some 793 dump trucks I think they are. Don't quote me on all these facts, uh, even though I did work at the super pit with me missus here. It was an interesting experience. So here's a huge PC8000 bucket, that's the shovels that we can see down there. This bucket cost $1.1 million. It weighs 68 tons by itself. And one scoop can carry 70 ton. So it digs into the face with its teeth and then turns around and there's a big hinge up there and that hinge opens up that seam that you see there that allows it to dump straight into the truck. Here we have the, uh, the view, or the viewing area for the super pit. And some information here about uh, the Golden Mile. So interesting, uh, on average the haul truck consumes 185 litres of fuel in an hour and refuels twice a day. It takes around eight minutes to fill the tank, costs more than two, uh, 2,800, I think it'll be up a little bit now with today's diesel prices. And uh, in 20 years the truck travels about 1.5 million kilometres. So here we are on the Oh, the windy side of the uh, super pit. Got a few trucks up here just uh, getting rid of their loads. A couple have got rid of their loads, a couple more just on coming on in. A spectacle out the back here.
rocked up here at the uh, Hannon Tourist Mine, just a couple of minutes out of uh, Kalgoorlie. And uh, we're going to go to a free um, super pit tour. It's every third uh, Sunday of the month. If you're struggling for time, you can get one in, um, in town. I think it's about $85 per person. Um, and you can go anytime you like, obviously every day um, on their schedules. But uh, this is a handy one. It doesn't go to the places that the one in town does for, that you have to pay for, but it uh, gives you a good um, brief um, look at uh, the super pit and its operation. Now, we don't travel with animals, we haven't got dogs, but uh, just a few are here in the, uh, the Hannon's North um, Tourist Mine, and you do have an animal with you rather than leaving your caravan or something. Over here is, uh, it's just tucked away in the corner here, just a couple of little uh, shaded dog huts here. Bring some water and some food and lock them in the shade huts here, saves them being in the vehicle and you can spend all you want a little bit longer in the, uh, in the tourist mine having a good look around. And the other thing, make sure you don't get the sun in your, as we go um, behind me now um, there's some very big parks there for um, vans as well so you can bring your van and park in there and um, check it all out too great spot there she is one of the trucks the 793s that you can go and scramble all over and check it all out get up nice and close and personal to it um, I forgot to mention too that um, when we do this tour it helps if you've got long sleeves so hence my attire with my long sleeves and of course um, closed in footwear and long pants it's a safety requirement when you're going into the, the mine site there so uh, come prepared we have got here at uh, opening at uh, 8 o'clock here on a Sunday and I believe the bus the first one is about 9 30 so um, and trust me there's quite a queue of people so I think there's three tours so there won't be too many disappointed people they'll get in sometime but uh, if you want to get in and get out whilst it's nice and cool I suggest get here early <laughs> so here we go our transports rocked up for the day it's a mine spec bus all fully equipped with uh, fake mud on the wheels it does have a flashing light and uh, what is um, required for the day safety glasses vest and helmet excited about our trip to the super pit so here we go we're at the um, I think it was the brown hill end so over in the distance 3.5 kilometers is the other viewing chamber viewing platform and uh, the mine is currently about uh, 670 meters deep and according to our tour guide uh, they want to make it down to about 800 meters deep plus but to do so they have to make it wider and things as well so pretty staggering still can't get over the size of it even though you know we were down there working for a few months up the hill here at the uh, super pit hoping for one last little bit of action they're about to do some blasting but we're really unsure where it's going to be directly in front of me there where the the two shovels there's a drill pattern area there but I somehow think we may be undone and the blast is way over into the little corner there out of the way we can't see but It'll be a lottery. We'll see if we're lucky enough to catch it. If not, we'll catch the smoke, the dust. It's blasting time. So hopefully in about uh, 20 minutes time, the uh, shovel, you can just see over here, he's just uh, dropped his bucket there. So uh, he's got a resting spot there. And I don't know whether you can see it, but a little bit over to the side here, there's um, 
the drilling rigs that have been pulled over here as well. So looks like we could get a pretty good blast up here. See those, see the lines in front of you? Over, over here you see the lines and you see that four wheel drive parked in the middle of the paddock over there? That's, I'd say, where they're going to blast, but it's split into two. There's a right-hand side and a left-hand side. One looks neat, one looks scruffy. The one on the right should be where they blast. And the idea for that is that you've got these three trucks parked down here, not going anywhere, that four-wheel drive stopping them. And you can make out another four-wheel drive up, the, up that long ramp. He's stopping traffic from coming down. So I would say the blast mightn't happen until that four-wheel drive that's on that flat ground Moves. Okay. There it goes. Oh, look at the colors. There we go. So it wasn't all at once. Cool stuff. No, that's just a nesting one. No, that, that'd be it. How was that guys? <laughs> hey, here's our nice crew at the Discovery um, Caravan Park. Good team, eh? <laughs> well, as you can see, the van's all hitched up and uh, I'm going solo. Jude's uh, got a job to do over in um, Adelaide, so um, I'm taking the van over to Perth, and when she's finished over there in about a month's time, um, she'll catch up with me. So um, yeah, it's been a little bit hard without my um, right hand man, left hand man. Um, yeah, backing up the trailer and making sure everything's all turned off and things, so yeah, this for a bit. Um, but yeah, what are we up to? Season two is well on the way. Um, been a fantastic time there with um, uh, Kalgoorlie and um, as you can see it's over a period of time it was over the Christmas New Year period and um, oh, yeah, it's plenty to see and do it really kept us really really busy so um, yeah, it's been really hard to try and um, get this uh, van all um, ship shape again into travel mode it might even still take another couple of days of ah, what did I keep that for and put this in the right place so um, I highly recommend this park enough um, it, it was this park, Discovery, um, on um, Bird Street, um, the airport end, okay, a fabulous little spot. There's a lot of grass around, but it's nice and flat. Um, the pools are beautiful, there's enough trees around. Um, everybody's very respectful of um, your surroundings and bits and pieces. The staff are brilliant, the, the cleaners um, are lovely. Um, they zip around, making sure this place is all clean and tidy and looking fresh. And a big shout out to the uh, the team at the uh, the checkout. The, the girls there are lovely. Um, they've really looked after Jude and I. Jude uh, tends to get into a spot like this, and a lot of mail starts arriving and a lot of parcels, so she kept them pretty busy. But no, good good system. I've got to go and get some um, some uh, some uh, supplies and uh, say my last hurrahs. And uh, who knows what. What's going to happen? I've got plenty of time to make it into Perth. I just want to go nice and slowly, smell the roses, so to speak, or the wildflowers if there's any still out there. And cheers! Thanks for watching Sweet As RVing. Remember, click the follow, the share, the bell, the like. Drop a comment in and bits and pieces. We'd love to hear from you. Um, keep watching and, and help us create more content. We're enjoying it. <laughs>